Hi Mike, um, Simon James here from uh, Smallwoods Association. I'm the Chief Executive and we're based over in Ironbridge but we're a UK charity and uh, we've got about 2,000 members and we look to help uh, woodland owners, managers, supporters and workers in woodland. So we've got an extra retort here, it's number 73. So um, these have been developed over the last uh, couple of decades and it is here as a demonstration of the kind of things we do. So we have um, purchased this uh, kiln and as you can see it's a mobile kiln and we hope to take this wood and um, to take this kiln to woods and help people convert their stacks of logs into charcoal. So what we do is we take a length of log, we usually split it in half so we can increase the surface area and the reason we do that is so we can actually drive out all the moisture and all of those gases out of the log. Now, when we um, fill this with the logs, we shut this door and we bolt the door tight to make sure that all the air is excluded from getting into this inner barrel. Once we've done that, what we can do is we can start a fire underneath and we tend to use pallet wood because pallets are roughly about a metre long and this is roughly two metres long so I can feed both ends um, pallet wood into the bottom of this kiln so we can actually heat this uh, in a barrel up. What we're after is about 450 degrees and once we get up to 450 degrees we can start see all well we can start seeing plumes of steam coming out of the top of this barrel and what we're doing there is we're driving out the moisture we're driving out the gases and once we've driven off enough moisture and we've just got gases um, coming out those gases are redirected using this pipe in here out of these jets at the bottom and the uh, wood inside uh, it will effectively um, heat the continue heating this barrel so it's kind of self-heating, self-driving that, that escalation of heat and we'll continue to process this. So the charge, which is what we call the wood that we put in that we want to convert to charcoal, is um, heated, all the moisture, gas is expelled. We reuse those gases to continue heating uh, so we don't continue putting that pallet wood in. We can stop doing that and we can rely on these jets and the gas to continue heating this wood then once all the gases have been used these jets will will die down we've got no fuel left and then when we open this door the next day after it's cooled down to um, ambient temperature we will um, find that all of this timber has been converted into um, charcoal into really lovely high quality charcoal we don't get any brown ends because there's absolutely no oxygen going in and we just get a very consistent very high quality charcoal after we have completed the burn we open up the door and we'll actually find uh, lots of charcoal in here and it actually comes out looking exactly the same as it goes in but because we've driven off all the moisture and the gases we actually end up with about 25% of the weight that goes in so uh, it's, a, it's roughly a 4 to 1 ratio so um, the amount of wood that goes in we get roughly 25% out. So roughly how much volume or weight can you get out in one go? So we, we fill this up with um, uh, lump wood, so large uh, 1.5 metre length logs. We fill it right to the top and we will, once converted, we'll roughly get um, uh, two and, uh, one and a half dumpy bags, which are 900 by 900 by 900 of, of charcoal. So that's a bit over uh, one cubic metre of yeah, charcoal just, out yeah, of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And you're getting some biochar out of this as well, though. Yeah. As you can, uh, as you can see, we do get fines that, that come out, and these are um, really popular for horticulture. They're used for um, a really good replacement of peat in uh, compost, and they they provide a, a, an excellent habitat for bacteria. They can be activated. Uh, this this can be activated and um, it could be inoculated with with good bacteria to help in um, you know uh, specialist compost for things like orchids. Brilliant, thank you. Well, uh, I'd love to see it in action sometime soon. Yeah. <laughs>